Welcome back to the Sound for More Channel 8's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to the BBD Resonator, which is a emulation of the Bucket Brigade device with some addition, of course, because it has a feedback which makes it a resonator. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So we are inside the Rumble and uh, standalone version. And the first thing I'm going to do is to actually add uh, an FM operator, although you could choose another source as well as you prefer. And I'm going to add sustain. Okay, next we are going to go on the processor and we are going to search, scrolling down to the BBD Resonator, so the Bucket Brigade Device Resonator. So as you can see, uh, quite a straightforward uh, interface. First thing first, you have an input level here, which you can change, of course. And you can also modulate. You have your dry and wet mix here in terms of establishing how much effect you want to uh, be applied. Then more importantly here you have track which um, will use the keyboard frequency, will track the keyboard frequency for the internal um, frequency for the resonator which of course you can enable. And that will become more obvious as I start to change some of the parameters. And you can also set it on poly. Okay. Now let's change also the number of voices, six, eight, something like that. Okay, so here's the way it works. It has feedback, okay? That is why it makes it into a resonator. At the end of the day, it's an emulation of an analog uh, delay line and uh, a discrete one, so, um, but with the feedback in, and therefore the output going into your input, you have, uh, um, it becomes really a resonator, but it also has the ability of self-modulating, modulate, and modulates its own clock rate as well, and the self-modulation is actually controlled by this band uh, dial here. You have an overall filter for uh, your cutoff uh, frequency, then you can act on the internal BBD clock, therefore how quickly, it's like oversampling, it's like how quickly it moves between all the different cells. And here with resolution, you can establish how many analog cells and therefore how many um, will store um, the corresponding input values. And therefore uh, reducing the resolution, it will make it act like a decimator. Everything is uh, um, scaled up and down by the tuning here. And of course you can add some distortion with the metal here dial. So let's play with it because that is the, the explanation. But uh, uh, what's important is, uh, or what's more important is the sound that you can obtain. So let's um, um, play for the remainder of this uh, video with uh, some of the controls and see what we can obtain. And it, of course, if you were to add an oscilloscope, you would see straight away distortion on uh, uh, the metal here, um, changes. Here is the resolution being decreased. And of course you can act on the clock as well, uh, which is for the internal BVD clock. As I mentioned, you can act on the overall filter. You can have it self-modulate. And 
and you can scale it up and down with the tuning here dial. And then you can add some feedback. Be careful, of course, of the overall level. Let's go high on the register. And let's make it track the keyboard frequency as well. the difference is noticeable. And uh, let's make it a little bit um, more uh, uh, interesting. Let's add the reverb. Okay. So you can create quite uh, um, unique uh, um, texture and also instrument. search for uh, an idea so
So as you can see, you can create some very unique uh, unique effects using the uh, BBD Resonator. As a reminder, it's part of the DSP extension, and uh, which you can win if you um, follow the instruction in the video description for the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Bye.